Okay, welcome to our new video. Today we have with us Mr. Par Singh Arpure, who has just been placed in Capgemini with a package of four LPA. So welcome, Par. Welcome to our video. Hi, sir. Thank you. So, Par, first of all, I want to congratulate on getting placed uh, to such a big MNC and starting your career with Capgemini. So, can you please tell us more about yourself? Uh, my name is Par Singh Arpure. I was uh, doing my uh, bachelor's of engineering from Pillai to see a college of engineering. I done my BE from co computer engineering in computer engineering. And I recently got placed at Capgemini. Great, great. So uh, the first question part is from you is like, uh, was it an on-campus drive or off-campus drive? Uh, it was an on-campus drive. Okay. So it was an on-campus. So now parts will be discussing each and everything about this drive, which could help our upcoming batch also to gain some knowledge about Capgemini and its hiring process. Okay, so I require you to just uh, discuss everything in detail with us. Okay, so starting with like how many rounds were there? Uh, basically, there were like uh, five rounds for aptitude test. For for first thirty minutes, there there was like. Uh, pseudo code test where they gave us like 30 questions and they gave 20 minutes and that that was elimination round and once you will just uh, score up to above 70 percent then we, you will just get another round that was verbal round same 30 questions and um, uh, 20 minutes and in verbal round there was like um, passages also there was big big passages and simple questions too and once you will clear this both round then you will just uh, put forward to um, gaming aptitude they gave us some puzzles and everything they just gave like four to five puzzles to solve uh, in minimum amount and after that they gave me like behavioral competency that is the they will, they will ask uh, several questions about me about my they will give me some situations like if there is some some conflict in office and how you will and, uh, handle uh, this was my aptitude uh, aptitude round and after that they called me that you are you are selected selected an aptitude round and you have to give one coding test so okay. that that coding so, test was after one to two weeks basically there's all uh, these five sections there we can say it as uh, five sections for the first round only right so, yes yes that was first round so uh, like you mentioned there was five different rounds starting with quantitative aptitude and then uh, following with verbal english and behavioral competency as well so can you just tell in brief like uh, uh, like have you you have mentioned your first test okay like it was for uh, 30 minutes right yes so uh, what what type of questions were there like uh, were there an answer questions or uh, like uh, writing part was there uh, and also if you can mention the topics as well like from which topics were the questions uh, mostly asked Okay, so the 30 questions was divided into two. There were only MCQ, no coding uh, in first round. <clears throat> so uh, the 15 questions was related to uh, data structure. There were questions like uh, trees, graphs, and linked list, like basic questions of data structure. And uh, after that, there was a pure pseudo, uh, pseudo, pseudo code. Like they gave us some program and we have to guess the output. That was 15, uh, 15 questions of that. So this was the first round. So it was simple uh, data structure and basic coding. Okay. Then after clearing your like first round, so do you uh, were you were told any passing criteria of passing the first test or just generally like company hides it and you were cleared the test? Uh, after first round, you are asking about MC, after MCQs to verbal or, or entire com complete first round? No, no, just first like first section. Uh, after uh, the first section, no, so they didn't give. So they didn't give any criteria, but uh, those who didn't score well, so they just disqualified them. And those who scored well, they uh, promoted them to next round. So they didn't ask that they didn't show any results. Okay. So like uh, you started with, you first of all had your like a pseudo code round. This was like a purely technical questions were asked on data structure, right? And after that, like what was your second section in, in this first test? Uh, so second section was verbal, uh, verb, they call as verbal competency something. So there were like questions like um, uh, simple, uh, like uh, I told you about passages and uh, do and everything. Simple grammar, like they asked me. Okay. Uh, okay. So like it was uh, 
basic mcq test of english right the basic yes, english yes, yes. yes and after that like clearing your verbal as well then which was your third round and what was uh, the topics inside was, uh, the third round was gaming aptitude that was bit challenging round most of my friends got disqualified in that round and there were there were like several puzzles like uh, there is a typical uh, capgemini's puzzle like how you will solve they, they they were checking about problem solving skills uh, using that round so everyone got random puzzles now there was not any fixed puzzles that everyone will get same puzzles so that any was... one any one or two puzzles you want to share with our audience like well just give an overview like what kind of puzzles were there were, was there technical puzzles or like aptitude puzzles basic like solving the no, cubes no, 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 no. there was uh, no technical puzzles there was just aptitude aptitude person like uh, they will give you one ball and you have to pass that ball through one hole and how many steps you will take to just uh, 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 take to solve that puzzle like for example there is one ball and there are like 10 squares and uh, how many steps you will take to uh, uh, reach to that goal so such types of puzzles were there and it's like uh, Six to seven months. I can't recall every puzzle what I solved, but yeah, they were no. simple. Sudoku. No they were Sudoku round, like. Okay, okay. Sudoku was there. So it was full of like brainstorming, right? We can say like that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So after clearing your uh, third yes, yes. Once you and there was like once you will clear that uh, these three rounds like that was uh, pseudo code grammar and uh, app, uh, gaming then you are safe then no one is going to eliminate you once you will okay. clear these three uh, rounds and so and there was like behavioral competency I told you like that uh, there they will ask you something about that uh, if there is any conflict how you will handle two projects uh, if there any error so. So, so this fourth round is related question. Okay, so fourth round like behavioral round. Uh, was it like uh, the questions were asked uh, by a computer itself, or it was like an interview round, like the no, one no, from Capgemini? No, no, by computer itself. Okay, no, no, so, by computer itself. There were like hundred questions, and okay. there was no time limit. In earlier uh, earlier three stages, there was a time limit, and after that, there is no time limit. You can take entire whole day. They, no one is going to ask you. Anyways, okay. no one no one is going to eliminate in that round. So how how did you like uh, write their solutions? Like, uh, were the paragraphs uh, type of solutions were there, or MCQ type, or like no, there is a scale, or like one to five scale is there? Ah, uh-huh. there were some questions were relate. Uh, there were like a scale how you will rate, and there were some questions like MCQ, MCQ round. Okay, so overall there were four rounds, right? Not five. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. There one, two, three, four, four rounds. Yes. Uh, right, right. So this was uh, this was a full package for the first round. First, we can say it as written exams, right? Yes. So as you told, like timing, it was a time bound test, and each and every round was a elimination round. So one thing I have a doubt here, like uh, was it uh, like uh, in a one go round, or uh, you were told uh, different timings for different tests? it was one go, one go round okay so it was possible. so how how did you manage your time like uh, was the test time efficient or uh, you was running out of time uh, no because of talent battle and because of the talent battle preparation kit i was like trained to solve uh, mcqs fast in pseudo codes fast then uh, like talent battle uh, helped me to improve my skills that i should i I don't need to take pen and paper to solve. I can just uh, read and answer them. Because of that, it was uh, easier for me to solve the MCQs. And because of uh, talent battles, some practice questions, most of the questions were repeated. Like they just yeah. changed some values. So that was easy for me to grasp and just to solve. And so I completed. I, I, actually, I got more five minutes to just think and just check everything because of this training. Nice, nice. So as we say, the practice makes a man perfect, and that has been uh, true in your case, right? So yes. you have been practicing a lot with talent battle, and that helped you for cracking the capgemini. Sure. Yes. So uh, after clearing your first test, right? Uh, then interviews were conducted, or uh, there was uh, like a PPT round by the company, or uh, any other round was there? 
uh, after my uh, after my aptitude round uh, so uh, there was one coding round uh, okay. uh, a company asked me that uh, if you want to uh, get more pick package so you should just uh, apply to this round a uh, coding round if you will solve the all three codes then we will just uh, uh, give you hype so okay. there was one round so i cleared that round there was like three questions of uh, three questions you can choose any language and after once you will clear that round uh, then you will get call for an interview and okay. uh, only like five to six uh, candidates were uh, shortlisted for a higher package and unfortunately i didn't get that uh, 7.5 lpa so i uh, i got 4 lpa okay the package for the highest uh, highest post was 7.5 lpa 7.5 lpa yes so uh, after solving all the three codes like uh, what was that one thing you missed uh after that there was one interview interview and uh, he just started asking me questions related to data science and machine learning even i told him that i don't know much about data science and machine learning you can ask me any questions related to core coding or python and uh, python and c++ but still he was going uh, going on with data data science and okay. i guess that was the that was the thing that i got 4 lakh uh, package Uh, but when uh, I stopped him and told him like, sir, uh, with respect, uh, I don't know data science and machine learning. You can ask me anything. So he asked me, what do you know about Python? I can. I told like I have done many projects in Python. So we discussed uh, about my projects. Uh, later on, he asked me which technology you know more uh, rather than Python. So I told database. So he asked me several questions related to database, uh, and uh, that was simple and. and my interview went for like 1 hour uh, first okay. uh, first he asked me to introduce myself uh, and uh, then he asked me about my projects and then he went for data science i told him i don't know then he asked me questions related to python then he told me to share my screen and he gave me some questions to solve like uh, i remember he gave me one data structure related question uh, and i have to solve i solved that and after that uh, uh, i we went to database and they uh, he asked me to pair some uh, queries like he gave me some situations uh, and to write the uh, sql queries and after that he was like okay now hr will contact you but uh, there was no hr round for me he just asked me about what is what are your hobbies and i told him like while laughing but he was least interested about to for that uh, hr questions he was just asking me about technical anyways that was 7.5 lpa round So yes. those who got uh, interview for four lakh package, that their uh, interview was bit easy. They they just asked about simple questions, uh, oops concepts. But I was giving seven point five LPS, so uh, my uh, interview went for like one hour. Okay, so it was a huge round of interview. Like uh, it lasted for uh, one hour, as you said. One hour. Yes. And most of the questions were technical based, right? The the interview was not interested in asking as a type of questions, and there was uh, no HR round in the whole process. No HR round for me. Yes. Okay. I just Maybe, uh, directly got the mail that you did it and you are shortlisted in Capgemini. Can you tell us like uh, uh, what happened with your friends, like those who were giving the four LPA uh, type of interviews? Was there any HR round for them, or just a single round, like? There Mix was a single course. round. There was a single round. They just ask some some technical questions and some HR questions. But uh, I remember like four hundred. There were like four uh, hundred candidates, and Capgemini just select like fifty candidates. Okay. And among them, there were like four candidates who got seven point five LPA. And I just want to clear something to to our audience. Like uh, even if you clear the aptitude round, if you, even if you think that you uh, reach till behavioral competency, there is no assurance that you will get interview call. It's completely camp, uh, company's decision who are going to shortlist. Like I remember, there were there were like my friends who just cleared pseudo count, uh, uh, verbal and everything, but they didn't get. They 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 just got that you are not uh, sorry. We are not uh, selecting you. Such means. so this was even of if uh, capgemini like, uh, tells like uh, if you will complete all the, the these four rounds you will get the interview but there is no guarantee yes yes many done. many companies uh, keep their process confidential and they never leak like this type of uh, like how they can go into shortlist you for the next round right 
Yes. Okay. So, uh, any key topics you want to mention here for your technical interview? Like you mentioned, databases were asked, uh, and the interview was also asking questions on machine learning and data science as well. So, any questions, any uh, like practice questions for our 2023 uh, batch coming up? Any practice questions you want to mention here or topics you want to mention here regarding to the interview? Interview for if you are preparing for if you are, if you got chance for four like package, so you should just uh, brush up uh, with uh, oops concepts, uh, simple Python uh, 100 questions that talent battle actually talent battle provided me like 100 to 200 questions of each topic like Python data database and everything. So most of the questions were from that PDF only. Uh, so uh, I'll just ask to uh, anyone to just uh, be thorough with any one language, even uh, no matter C, C++, Python, that interviewer is going to ask you any question related to that. So we yes. can't predict that he's going to ask us, he will, he asked my friend, oops, so I will just prepare oops. So that's not the case. Uh, most of my friends got oops question, but he didn't ask me single question related to oops. Uh, and if you are, if you are uh, planning for 7.5, okay, so, so be ready with what, if, what you say. I said Python. So he just went directly to machine learning and data science. I thought he will just ask me about uh, simple list, tuples and everything, but no, he will, uh, he will expect you that you should know more than four, four like package. So I'll okay. just, uh, so okay so when did you receive your final results like it was just after the interview were told your results or it took time after two months oh great and i i thought they just rejected me but because uh, every other friend got that uh, mail that you are selected you're selected there was one shortlisted list also like these students are uh, selected i was like um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't got this uh, uh, opportunity, but after two months, I just got a message on super set that you did it. And after five days, I got that mail that congratulations, you are selected uh, in Capgemini. Great. And after 10 days, uh, I got my LOI letter of intent where I, everything was there. Okay. So overall, so, I can just say that talent battle helped me a lot in this and, uh, I'll just, uh, whoever asked me how to prepare, I'll just, I just uh, tell my juniors that just join talent battle because the way talent battle trained after there was like master class that was important, the core. But I remember uh, I started my uh, uh, Capgemini training in August, okay, company specific training. Uh, I remember that at CERT took every question which, uh, which was there. The one first thing is that you have to pass the pseudo code. That is the tough uh, round. Once you will just clear that round, then everything is easy. And interviewer is also chill. He's not that strict. But that pseudo code round is tough round. Questions are easy, but time there is a time limit. So with the help of talent battle and with the help of that test, talent battles test, it was easy of easy for me to do this. Great. So talent battle always practices to make their students perfect in uh, in each and every round and but it also depends on you like we provide the material to you but it also depends like how much you are attempting it like so yes, you attempted yes. it and now you can see that you have uh, win the company so now we are on the end of our interview experience so can you just tell like is there any bond in capgemini uh yes there is two years bond with capgemini so have you joined the company now? Uh, right now, tomorrow is my final uh, final exam. Like uh, once you get you once you get placed in Capgemini, there 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 will be like two exams that adapt exams. I don't okay. think that they they will affect onboarding process, but yeah, they will just build up your profile. So tomorrow is my that exam, and once I'll just complete that exam, I'll just get my onboarding and everything details that where when I'm going to join the company. Okay. So like uh, each and every company takes their exams uh, after uh, hiring also uh, because uh, they may be allocating the projects, right? So yes, they get a criteria like for which project you can be allocated in the starting. Yes. Okay. So last one question to you is how did you handle uh, like the whole patients uh, and your like how did you tackle with the impatience? Uh, like you, you had a huge time between your 
last round of interview and your results like it was huge two months so how did you tackle your impatience and what did you practice in that time and what uh, what is your advice to our juniors to be like how they can be in this process uh, i i i was not like uh, okay i just gave this interview and i'm done with my uh, placement process no i ju i just uh, i applied to many more companies and i just kept like one company for like safer side and that was wipro uh, i got selected in wipro too but okay. as i got placed in capgemini my uh, college there is only one co one student one company policy so but i was keep on i was keeping my practice and i, I started doing the data science and everything where, where i lacked where yes. the interviewer asked me so i just started to brushing up that skills um, and mm. after that one month so i got my results and i was like chalo ho gaya so nice nice okay so at last anything you uh, you would like to mention or any tips uh, for our upcoming batch how should they prepare for this placement season uh, i'll just give one tip that please be thorough with one language you don't need that you don't need to show like you're good in five to six languages uh, even if it is c no problem but be thorough please try to make some projects like interviewer is uh, a greedy for projects he is going to ask you about the projects what you did in projects if you get chance try to do internship so this will just give you add on advance advantage in your uh, play uh, placement journey yes projects always helps you like they they build your interview right uh, they build yes, uh, yes. a content for your interview on which the questions can be asked so projects i think are the most important ones yes and then i'll just tell that please be thorough with i'll just tell again that please be thorough with language and whatever you say like if it's c plus plus be ready with every concept the interviewers ask i will ask you anything there is no like there is no written rule that he will just ask you some specific questions he will ask you anything and uh, because uh, talent battle helped me that i took that pre uh, interview at that uh, cap uh, talent battles so that was beneficial for me like okay. so thank you part for being with us and discussing about her placement journey and Uh, we again congratulate you on uh, joining the cap gemini and also you told in your interview like you also cracked wipro as well so it is such a great news to hear from your side thank you sir